Hey foodie family, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Joy. Let's make some giant banana bread. I have one cup of warm milk. I have measured out two teaspoons of yeast. I'm going to mix all of that together and set aside for about five minutes. Make sure you use warm milk. Next, we got about seven ripened bananas and you want to make sure your banana is beginning to darken. So it would have been darker than this, but I kept it away in the fridge. Now we're going to go ahead and peel all of that reserving one to use as a topping on our banana bread. Look at that, so soft. Now when your banana ripens this way, it's going to make it even sweeter and softer for your bread. Go ahead and mash your banana using a wix or a mixer or a fork. For this banana loaf bread, I'm going to use one egg. I'm going in with about a quarter cup of brown sugar. Approximately like two to three tablespoons, all right? I'm using a teaspoon of cinnamon powder. Mix all of your ingredients together until it is well combined. Once we've achieved this texture, we're going to go ahead and add our mixture of milk and yeast. At this point, don't be tempted to add any extra water or liquid as this is sufficient to make all of your bread, all right? Mix everything together and we are going to go ahead and sift four cups of all-purpose flour. So this is the time to combine the wet ingredients and the dry ingredients together. So for this flour, you're going to just um, reserve a little bit just to dust your pan with it and make sure you use measuring cups for your measurements. Add a pinch of salt. Now we're going, going in with a spatula to mix all of our wet and dry ingredients together. So you have to be patient with this process. It doesn't take so long, but you want to be careful or use a bigger bowl. Don't be like me. So once I've mixed it lightly until all the flour has gone in, I'm going to add two tablespoons of softened butter and this butter is salted. That's why I use a pinch of salt. If you're using unsalted butter, you can go ahead and add your butter. We are adding a generous amount of raisins. <laughs> all right, because this bread is going to be delicious. It has to be delicious. Mix all in, mix in your butter and your raisins. Go in with your fingers. You can use a spatula if you like, but I tell you this method is more effective with your fingers or you can use your mixer. Now this is the consistency you want for this bread. So once it is well mixed up and you get this kind of um, slightly thick consistency like so 
look at that just give it some mix for about four minutes or five minutes all right we're going to go ahead and prepare our um pan for this bread and this is a big pan i'm sorry i couldn't get <laughs> the exact measurements for this pan because this is um nigerian made and they are not very good with measurements all right but just use a giant pan loaf i will try and find out the diameter of this i just eyeball it and i know what to use but this particular pan takes four cups of all-purpose flour to get a size of cakes um, a perfect size for cakes or bread four to five cups of flour all right so yeah um we're going to go ahead and um we, i use some butter and then i dust it with some flour and i'm going to go ahead and add some baking paper just to make sure that everything sits nicely and it's easy to remove at the end when you are done baking We're going to go ahead and just add our butter into our bread pan. So I just lightly buttered my spatula <coughs> just to flatten my bread. I'm sorry, I'm very coming down with some cold. So if my voice is off, that's where it's coming from. So you just want to heat on the pan so that everything, your mixture evens out nicely. And then you're going to cover and let this rest for about 10 to 15 minutes. So 15 minutes later and our bread is already, our butter is already beginning to double in size. I'm going to go ahead and use an egg wash and friends, <laughs> family, I can find my brush, my pastry brush, two brushes. Thanks to my toddler who is always cooking with mommy in the kitchen. <laughs> my, she, she, she's the first to try anything I cook. Yeah, so you want to do that. I used the egg wash and I am adding some raisins on top. Dust with some light brown sugar as well. And friends, oh my God, this is just going to take your banana bread to the next level. And we're going to go ahead and garnish with some banana pieces on top. While this is going on, you want to preheat your oven So this is ready and in it goes into the oven. We're baking it for about 15 minutes on 200 degrees, right? I can really tell you the measurement. My oven doesn't time, but I know that I bake this on the lowest heat because you do not want your bread to burn. You want it to cook through. It's a giant loaf. So use the lowest setting of your oven, all right? And your is out is ready we let that sit for about 10 minutes and give that a quick tap tap i just enjoyed some drumming session with my daughter <laughs> all right so now take it out of your loaf of your pan and guys this bread is so good it is delicious when you serve it warm but i tell you banana bread even tastes better when you let it sit for about 24 hours so we served this we enjoyed this at night and also served this for breakfast and it was perfection you can go ahead and warm it before in the oven before serving the next day all right because it is delicious when served warm
And I tell you, we red, 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 red. <laughs> if you left my family, you would have finished it that very night. <laughs> it's so good. Use this method and you will get the perfect giant banana bread. Fail proof. Look at the consistency. Look at the texture. And the taste is amazing. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Smash on the subscribe button for more. I got lots and lots of banana bread recipes banana recipes that I will be sharing with you on this channel and eat enjoy relax give God praise for he has given us beautifully bountifully all things to enjoy I love you guys see you in my next upload ciao bye this is so good my god see you the next day so pretty